and you'll find that this time of year with the clouds, with the rain, with the gray and lack of sunshine, you, you probably feel feel that uh, a little more. So, you know, make sure make sure you take those steps to make make sure you feel good as well. Now we have this rain uh, that's taking over the area and this rain is is going to be a little relentless for us here. It is ultimately going to be steady to light in most cases, but you'll notice just to the south. We're watching uh, this area here uh, where you get some yellows and darker greens mixed in there. That's a steady rain and it's been favoring areas south of I 70 and that's where we're finding some issues. So we have a flood watch there that runs until four o'clock on Friday. Now this is for the creeks, the streams, the rivers. Uh, uh, everything coming out of West Virginia and even flowing northward. So those could come up. So if you live adjacent to some some moving water, pay attention to the levels there. That's what a flood watch means. You know, watch because we're getting the rain. We've had the snow melt levels are coming up. Now, if those levels continue to rise, we could have some issues trying to show up in Connellsville, uh, Dunbar through Connellsville uh, along the Yawk. We could see that water level come up to a point where it could start to come into some of the basements. I mean, if you live along the Yakagani River in Connellsville, uh, you, kn you know what I'm talking about. It just gets to that point where it starts to, to move into some of the basements. Hopefully it does not reach that point, but there is a flood watch for you based on that weather down to the south and the rain that's been happening overhead and the snow melt that you've been dealing with and this runs until 4 p.m. Friday. So we're watching for you as well, Connellsville. But when it comes to that rain, it's going to favor areas to the south. You're going to see here on Futurecast how areas south of Pittsburgh seem to be the, the magnet or attracting these showers. And they're going to favor this area through the afternoon tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, the showers will start to lift up to the north. And I think we catch a bit of a break uh, for a good chunk of Friday. There's still going to be a couple showers around, but Friday is going to be one of the drier days. Just know that water takes time to make its way down to the lowest point. So it's not once the rain stops, you have to stop worrying about the flooding. We have to see how that water is draining into the creeks, the streams, the rivers, and how it's reacting. We also have the, the Mon Wharf that's closed because uh, the Ohio River at Pittsburgh coming up as well just because of the snow melts and the rain. That's a more minor impact compared to basements and houses in Connellsville. And Connellsville is the primary reason for our first alert weather day tomorrow. 46 scattered showers, mild conditions around uh, tomorrow. As I mentioned, a first alert weather day because of the rain and that flood potential down to the south, 56 degrees. So at the very least, it's going to be warm. We keep it warm Friday and then our temperatures start to slip later on Saturday. We'll see some showers. Temperatures will fall through the day on Sunday, transitioning from rain back to snow. Snow showers on Monday. This does not look like impressive snow. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll get some sunshine coming back with mild temperatures for this time of year, but nowhere near the 50s that we're seeing today and what we're going to get the next couple.